Anyway, you can't be too sure about the button check characters because some people just don't use their main in button checks. For example, oh. I break out the hero when Bill forces me into one of her button checks. Oh no, John! Uh, why? I think they're waiting for me. One second. Okay. Let's go. Are we? Are we? Are we gonna? Are we gonna see the Robin? Yeah, like, and they're using yellow too. My favorite color, the jazzy aesthetic. Let's freaking go. The jazzy aesthetic. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Uh, listen, I I always be rocking Game start. yellow. One, go. Let's get into it. So, um, when it comes to Robin, I definitely love how most Robin players definitely use a lot of their wave bounce maneuverability. It's a very important thing. We definitely haven't seen you know most Robins like Jewel here in a very long while. But that's already a stock! Oh. Did you see that? John, did oh. you see that? Yes. Oh my god, that was a very good stock from Genetic right there. Immediately taking out Mastrise's first stock. That's absolutely so crazy. Very nice showing off the bat. Can't say I was expecting it from someone seated to fight against Mouse Rat this early, but here we are. Let's see if Genetic's got the shots for this. Absolutely, it's already looking like they're just showing that they can do what needs to be done to take out Mouse Rat. <laughs> You know, honestly, I really love how like much already uh, with this. Oh, yeah, the drink that rat. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta take the rat for all the rat is because the rat is nothing but health and death fodder. Yeah, it that's what it's looking like right now because look at, look at how like well genetic is just playing around this matchup. This is normally a matchup I would probably say that oh Pikachu God. definitely benefits, but it's not looking like that right now. Genetic really is just reading every move Mouserat wants to do. And also, Robin has enough mix-up on their recovery that they can kind of escape Pikachu edge guards, which is very important. It means if he doesn't get carried off the stage by a Pikachu combo, he's probably going to live. Absolutely. And like, it's definitely looking like, you know, we haven't really seen much of that edge guard hmm. coming in from Mouserat. Yeah, you can see it. Every time he gets hit off stage, he goes really wide out and comes up from low end. Mm -hmm. But that is going to be Mouserat taking off Genetic's first dot. Very nice, but they're still at 77%, so that doesn't mean that they're safe by any means because they can really lose their stock at any moment. We, we've seen that, especially from that first stock there, too. Did you see that, John? I did not. That that was Pikachu just crouching under, like, Arc Thunder. Arc Fire? Yo, the Pikachu. No. How about Pikachu crouching under Forward Tilt? Holy smokes. Pikachu? Why is, like, Pikachu so small? Why is Pichu so big is the better question. I mean, opposed to Pichu, Pichu is, like, tiny, but, like, this rat is even tinier. Pichu is humongous now after that nerf he got. I mean, but, like, even then, like, I feel like Pichu is not big enough. No, Pikachu should definitely be big. Here, back here, we got tech, though. That was a very nice tech. Yeah. Storm. Nothing. Sorry. We're gonna see. Uh -oh. No, oh my Ooh, god, what that a catch. was a very a nice catch. That was, that was a very nice catch. Yeah, people have gotten very good at avoiding uh, up throw thunders, but oh my god, <laughs> just the read immediately. People have gotten really good at. Oh my god, I'm trying to talk, but these guys keep doing crazy stuff. Oh no, this is looking real scary. So something I do want to mention: Robin's forward air. Is like Roy's forward air. It has no cooldown. Mm -hmm. It's a bait. Just throwing it out into the open air. It's like forward and next move immediately. I think it, it is a little bit weird though as well because you also have to be very cognizant of how you're actually using a lot of Robin's moves. Because I feel like the most real, like the important thing that Robin has to use is oh. Al Thunder right there because that's one of the things that mainly stops people from doing anything. And that was also a very nice tactic to kind of just get him out of that. But. It's looking like this is a complete reversal from the first stop because we've seen, you know, Mount, I mean, um, have a really good first stop, but it's not looking that way right now. That was a very good catch, though. Oh, doesn't go into the tech read. Oh. Nair, no up smash, just up smash? No. Nasrat's getting hungry for that kill, I can see it. It's absolutely looking like that because they can lose this stop, especially with Alpha, um, Arc Thunder being on hand. Oh, Thoron? <gasps> That's crazy! Oh, the last hit made contact! A good tactician has and it's still killed too! A good tactician has nothing to fear. Absolutely not. This Holy tactician smokes. is amazing.
Oh, what look at that first stock. That um, first stock was actually amazing. Getting the read on that too. But that was that that was that was just amazing, honestly. That was also a good catch. Let's just go to the last one. I want to see this again. Like he knew this was gonna put him in a tech situation. It's like, oh, you fool, Thoron. Oh my God. Next game. Let's go. This is exciting going, now. Mm -hmm. Going back to PS2. I definitely am not sure about this stage pick because I feel like um, Malthorat might want something a little bit more smaller. You know, definitely to kind of close the gap a little bit because that's what I feel like a lot of like Pikachu can struggle against. Just not being able to just get the lead that they need and just hold on to it forever. If you can smother Robin, that is definitely a good thing to do. It's just kind of hard because Pikachu doesn't hit that hard and Gen X has been doing a really good job of just kind of like air and platform camping uh, Mouse Rat. And when you do that, Pikachu's combo game is surprisingly limited, even if he does hit you. So the risk reward here is actually more in Genetic's favor. It's like, oh man, I have to risk getting hit by Levin Sword just to get my one or two aerials. It's scary. So Genetic's definitely playing things very well. Absolutely. They've been playing well since the beginning of the game. What happened first set? Oh my god, what a catch. Book. Yo, the book. Some fine literature. Look, look at that. Look at that oh, literature going hard. That literature going hard. <laughs> that literature be hitting you with that knowledge, quite literally. Is this what they call getting knowledge checked in Smash Ultimate? And that's what it looks like. Oh, good. Didn't fall for the air dodge there. Very good. Throw oh my god, what an arc fire throw, too. That's crazy. I just don't think that Mouse was ready for this, but this good is where we start reading dash attack. That was this, a DI check. Dash tag, dash tag may just be doing things. There are not a lot of DI checks in this game, but that is one of them. Oh, oh all no. out. That's so unfortunate, losing that Al Thunder right there. That feeling Wait. when you reach the last page of a book and all you feel is emptiness. You know, this is this is a little bit morbid, John. Is this, is this how we're feeling for a children's party game? That's what it's I am like. merely waxing poetic over here. I mean, and that's how we're feeling. But this Robin got to the end of her book, and she just felt really, really sad that it came to an end. And you know, sometimes our stocks they have to come to an end eventually. We can't, we can't hold on to them forever unless we're gods and we three stock everybody. Yeah. MK Leo, who? Wait, that was a good dash under to get his shield up in time. Robin's aerials are surprisingly not super safe on block, especially if you can force her to uh, miss safe. Mm -hmm. And I think Mouse Rat is trying to take advantage of that. Absolutely. From what I can see in forward air, is that a kill? Not yet. Absolutely not. All right, Thunder. Oh. Ooh, that oh. was almost a kill right there with that back air. I feel like the thing about, you know, using um, Arc Fire is that Arc Fire like is really bad if you miss it especially since it like can really clang with a lot of tools it just ends up not really working out in your favor so i feel like that might be something that has to be a little bit more um or that you know genetic has to be a little bit more cognizant of too Ooh, but that eptil is definitely gonna After go everything ahead. that was the kill mm -hmm. it's gonna go ahead and take off that stock right there and now matra is two stocks above and with 51% too, this is some a really good of a lead right here for, you know, Mouse Rat. Especially considering what happened that first game where Genetic just tore through that first knock of Mouse Rats. Okay, we're definitely gonna Ooh! A good very edge guard coming in and very nice recovery on Genetic's part. Not gonna get anything with that throw, but are we, are we gonna see something right here? Cause this looking like Genetic is definitely trying to fight for their lives right here. They definitely need something to kind of take off this talk soon so that they're not fighting from too much of a disadvantage. Well, I agree. <laughs> it's sometimes not too bad though if you're really good at avoiding the Pikachu early kills though. The edge guards and the low percent like forward air combos. If you can avoid those and DI dash attack correctly, you can live well until like 200 against Pikachu. Really? Yeah, well, actually, it's just, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's just Pikachu is very good at hitting all these things, so it's probably not gonna happen. I definitely like the actual because you know um, when Robin got that buff a little bit ago, 
Robin is able to use um, Arc Fire from a little bit more of a distance. It actually helps, you know, just a lot of situations, especially like where Genetic used it uh, a little bit ago by using it to get off of, um, or to get off of Ledge. That was very good. Oh my god, that one hit it forward there. Oh, that's a kill. Ooh. Is what I would say. Oh my god! You're crazy. You're, you're crazy. That, you saw that? That was a, yes, I think we all saw that. I was hoping we saw that, because that, that's, you, that was a freaking Skull Bash. Quite literally putting the name into use, bashing Whee! Robin's skull. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> Dead. Goodbye. Robin, she got knowledge checked right there. <laughs> and she didn't even she didn't even lose her book. There she definitely got knowledge checked. Yeah. That was a little that was a little bit sad a moment right there. Pepe weird. Poor weird. But I still definitely really love the um, recoveries from Genetic. Their recoveries have been like on point. And that's something that uh, you were mentioning before that you know Mouse Rat definitely needs to like be on top of um, his um, uh, what's it called his edge guarding too. Ah, Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya Mishima. Pikachu. That's what I was say. We got Pikachu Mishima. Pikachu. Pikachu was basically just Kazuya in Pokémon Tournament, so it works. No, stop! You can't bring Pokémon Pokémon Tournament with me because I love, I, I love it. Pikachu I wish it was is good. unnaturally angry in that game, just like Mario is in this game. Listen, Pikachu just has some anger to let out. You don't got anger to let out, John? Not as much as Pikachu does. Oh. All right, here comes the edge guard. No, no dice. I definitely love this stage choice coming in from Genetic. Going to Battlefield 2, I definitely feel like Battlefield has a lot more uses, especially when it comes to just um, survivability. So like you were saying how Pikachu um, can have people live well over like 200%, I feel like that's um, exaggerated on this stage because a lot of situations, like even Wolf on this stage, he does he can't kill until 200% sometimes on this stage because back throw won't kill. Like I keep saying, it's all dependent on if Jeanette can avoid all these low percent kills. Absolutely. That's exactly what they need, and they just need it. There it is. Got a two frame, I think, too. Mm -hmm. We'll have to check that one later. Ooh, okay. Up there. And he's out of there, ladies and gentlemen. Skull Bash, a surprisingly good escape option just because of how long it floats in the air. Mm -hmm. Oh, drank him. Rat smoothie. Not the rat smoothie. You had to go for the sewers for that one. You had to go to, to purchase it there. Ooh. Okay. Good attempt. I respect that. He read the quick attack, but not the direction. Oh. Mouse has just definitely been on top of Genetic and hasn't been able to, like, you know, Genetic hasn't had any time to just kind of just take any kills. Oh my, Ooh, are you for real? What a, what a good recovery, but damn. That was actually very smart using that to um, his advantage, Mouse Rat. I'm also just going to mention Mouse Rat has been engaging significantly less. Why do I talk? I just get people killed when I talk. It's okay, it just that's happens. A, that's a kill. What Absolutely. I was trying to say is Mousra has been uh, engaging significantly less ever since uh, Genetic... He got the stock lead, since Mousra got the stock lead. Let's see what he does now if the stocks are evened up. Good tech. Ooh, and the Thor are not going to debt too much, but I don't know. Robin! He's like one of those characters that like... Say hi to... Uh, Milk tea! Milk tea. Hi. Oh my, oh my god, I love you so much! But oh my like, god. oh my goodness, Robin is like one of those characters that, you know, is notorious to losing, quote unquote, losing to Pikachu. Everything that Pikachu has can go against Robin! I was actually just talking about that earlier, how I was like, this definitely does not feel good, but uh, let me tell you, Genetic has been throwing them hands. Absolutely! Like, considering this. Game? Oh man, a oh, really good method of getting back on stage, utilizing the lack of Elwin. But you know, when you're at 167 against Pikachu, as Robin, that's pretty good. And there you go, Mouserat taking another stop. Absolutely, and this is 
this is looking a little scary for genetic. I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like Mo um, Mouse Rat has just shifted the momentum super into his favor. And it's just been super hard for, you know, genetic to get any mm -hmm. damage consistently, get any kills. And I feel like they've definitely refined a lot of what was going wrong, especially in that first game. And then just kind of took this game to a whole nother level. There he goes, getting with the usual. Robin, Artfire, let's trap, and Ooh, What an let's upper, go. let's go. How it's gonna go, Robin versus Pikachu. Absolutely, getting that was into very the good. Up oh man, that was so close into capping, like, comboing into that Artfire. And now we have Mouser just like trying to find a way to go around, you know, Robin around platform. And when you're standing up there, Mouser got no choice but to like approach because you can't just live through the match with just teach jolt I mean, absolutely. And honestly, I feel like a lot of the tools that, you know, Robin has, I feel like kind of just do stuff like that. Just like taking damage from Pikachu and making it hard for Mouse Rat to just like feel comfortable in this position because if Genetic has anything to say about this game, it's that he wants to take Mouse Rat's name. Right, absolutely. And honestly, I really love Genetic's method of attacking Mouse Rat by using the first hit of Nair, which is honestly a really big move um, that comes out really fast. And it's what it's probably like one of the only things that Robin can do as a landing option so that it's not super vulnerable against Pika. <laughs> There it go. This is absolutely looking really scary. Yeah, if Genetic yeah. wants to win, they have to, have to, have to avoid all of these fairs that Mouse Rat is throwing out because we want to see a very good stock coming in. Oh Ooh. no. Oh Not man. Good. Wait, he only has one left and he makes it back. Okay. Ooh, this is very scary because it's going to be absolutely so hard. For the next, we have back off stage, especially without L Thunder or L Wind. God. Ooh, Ooh, that was so close. It's Third. been a while since we've seen a Robin here. So mm -hmm. I'm super happy. I'm definitely going to meet this person because I'm a Robin lover. I'm going to convert everyone into a Robin main or a Robin secondary somehow. As he should. Robin is amazing. I know. Robin is so underrated. And that is going to Ooh. take it. Really good game on both players. Genetic really like holding on to their last stock, mm -hmm. their last breath. Mm -hmm. They knew mm -hmm. they had a chance, they had a chance. But that up air definitely gonna up throw, gonna take it, especially if you can't do much. You're landing into things that Pikachu can easily punish. Look at that. You saw that. Yeah, I, I, this is the first time I'm seeing that because I came um, in the second stock of both characters. <laughs> and oh my god, there we go. A Robin Classic. Let's go, Robin Classic. Is that... Is that Devin? Devin 3000? Oh my god, yes, we're getting Devin 3000 next. Are we getting Devin 3000? Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. man behind the camera, thou in front? Thou in front? Thou art in heaven? The, the, um, uh, how do you say? The mechanical genius behind the, the, the gameplay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but you could see, like, the <laughs> anti-pop-off of... Gotta keep my high density hidden. But you saw the anti pop off of Genetic. But both players played amazing. I wish I came just a little bit earlier so I could see the Robin. Oh also my god. The, the first stock. 